Of course, we have all endured the continuing impact of COVID-19 pandemic, but over the last few decades, life expectancy has increased dramatically around the globe. Today, the average life expectancy is 68 years for women and 65 years for men. For far too long, diabetes has been associated with shorter than average lifespans and a lower quality of life for those people with conditions. Diabetes is known to reduce life expectancy on an average by 6 to 8 years. But with the proper tools, attitude and support system, anyone with diabetes can change the course of their health. It's true that when you consider heart-related cardiovascular complications, men and women with diabetes tend to have higher rates of early death than their peers without the disease. But it's also true that two people with diabetes are not same and how a person manages his or her blood sugar is the key when considering how the disease might affect your lifespan. No wonder the 21st century is the age of rapid technological progress and we are advancing at a mind-blowing rate. We are more aware and knowledgeable towards many diseases and our lifestyle. And now there are also recent development in medicines which ensure that there are no complications of diabetes which can damage your heart or kidney. As always, the most important step a person living with diabetes can take to improve the quality of their life is to focus on how you can improve the different risk factors that can impact the functioning of heart and other organs. To minimize the risk of diabetes, the most simple way is to learn the ABCD phonics for diabetes. Remember, A for HbA1c in which we need to control our diabetes in such a manner that our HbA1c remains below 7%. B for blood pressure where most people should maintain a BP less than 140 by 90 mm of Hg and in few cases lower than 130 by 80 mm of Hg. C for cholesterol where LDL cholesterol which is considered harmful should be controlled and D for daily lifestyle modification which includes smoking cessation, taking good care of your nutrients and dietary intake and regular exercise. Following this ABCD rule, over a period of year, we can ensure to minimize the risk of lowering the average life expectancy in diabetes. There is one such famous study called as Tino2, which tells us that individuals suffering from type 2 diabetes mellitus who followed the ABCD rule had a better life expectancy and greater lifespan as compared to the diabetic population who were not following this rule. ABCD rule increased the life expectancy of diabetic population by an average of 9 years as compared to the people not following. This gives strong evidences that following the ABCD rule continuously over a period of time and maintaining the levels reduces the complications associated with diabetes such as heart disease and kidney disease, which ensures that diabetes is not rendering in the life expectancy of an individual. Being exposed to a trigger in the environment such as virus is also thought to play a part in developing type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes also comes under autoimmune diseases where body's immune system attacks its own antibodies such as GAD65, insulin autoantibodies, IA2 and zinc transport 8 antibodies. Vaccines which can revert these immune defects may be effective to prevent autoimmune diabetes. The most important step a person living with diabetes can take to improve the quality of their life and potentially extend it is to speak up for themselves to get the quality of social and medical support they need. Ask your provider questions, request the ability to access a diabetic educator and make an effort to be as proactive as possible. Managing diabetes is not a science, it's an art.